Welcome to the Blue Cafe, we bring you stories of faith, love, and devotion. Yeah, just kidding, please help us grow by hitting that like button. Now on to the story. Lost 8 Valuable Years with a Cheater Any inspirational stories of moving on in your 50s? Post Separation been married 26 years, the last 10 of which have not been good. We got along well and I really considered my wife my best friend but the intimacy had drastically faded. She attributed it to menopause but was resistant to openly communicating about our troubles and I foolishly stuck around for a number of reasons, finances, kids, etc., but mostly because I really thought we could get that spark back if we just put some work into it. About 9 weeks ago, she signed us up for couples counseling and we both agreed in the session that we wanted to try to save our marriage. I left the session feeling optimistic. The very next day, I found out that she has been in love with someone else and has been having an affair with him for the past 8 years, I found anniversary cards they had sent to each other. The shock was just overwhelming. I had suspicions about whether she had ever been unfaithful to me but no way was I expecting this. Suddenly, the lack of intimacy, the coldness, the constant pulling away, etc. all made total sense. She's now moved out and we've both retained lawyers. I suspect the divorce will be ugly but hoping we can do it through mediation and not have it drag on. My kids are older, one a senior in high school and one has just graduated college and moved back home, and we are doing okay. They were devastated by the news and I immediately got them good therapists. They haven't seen her since she left but the anger they have towards her is lifting and I assume they will eventually have relationships with her. That's fine. My kids and I are incredibly close and I'm glad I can hold my head up high for them in all of this. My wife will never be able to do that and has to live knowing that any respect they had for her before is gone. For me, I have good days and bad days. The first few weeks were just awful. The movies in my head of the two of them together were relentless and I found it hard to eat, sleep or work. That's mostly faded at this point. I tortured myself looking at old photos of the family and us together for a while and it was hard looking at happy events such as birthdays, kids graduations, vacations, etc. and realize she had been with him throughout all of those. I just don't know how she was able to do that. But I initially looked at those photos and saw the person I thought she was and now I see in them the person she is. They are completely different photos now and I feel no need to look at them anymore. Here's what bothers me most right now. I'm optimistic about moving forward and having this person out of my life but am just so bitter and angry about all this time that I lost. Yes, I should have left. I thought about it many times over the years and just didn't do it. I'm 56 now and feel that I perhaps could have been happy with someone else by now if she just ended the marriage when the affair started. Those were important years for me age-wise and they are just gone. I have no choice but to accept it and learn to live with it but man, it's hard. Anyone have any comments about moving on after a long marriage? Or stories about dating or finding a new partner later in life? I could use a few. I have kind of a similar story. This was years ago though. My aunt, dad's sister, and uncle divorced in their 50s. Can't say there was cheating involved, but we all assumed something was going on because she met someone and remarried within a year after the divorce. I was a teen at the time so not a lot was shared, but I could pick up on things. I always remember my aunt looking really rough all the time aged, stressed, worn out. Add to this, none of us really connected with her new husband. He just never fit in. I can tell you my dad hated him nothing said, but everyone knew. So we ended up seeing less and less of this new husband and my aunt. He didn't even attend my cousin's wedding. Like your kids, I am pretty sure my cousins gravitated towards their father. They were older than me and we rarely saw them after the divorce. Holidays and events were all with my uncle's side of the family. My dad was still friends with my uncle so we saw him quite a bit. Unlike her, I think he was in a good place. 
He always had some story, some new project or was going somewhere. He never remarried. What I'll never forget is the conversation my mother and father had at my aunt's funeral. They were talking about how miserable my aunt had been and the apparent abuse that went on. They shared with each other the conversations they, and others, had trying to get her to leave him. Also learned he was an alcoholic. From what I gathered, my aunt was too ashamed to get a second divorce. That's all I got. Not much of a story. Your post is incredible, tragic but truthful. Right. 8 years. What to FKN scumbag. Hey, you're talking about the woman I no longer love. So okay. Truth. Don't be too surprised when the fantasy of the illicit affair wears off that she comes crawling back telling you what a terrible mistake she made and that you are the love of her life after all. That happened the day after I found out. Wasn't having it. If she keeps love bombing you via text, you can get an app that controls the conversation. She is coming back. I guarantee it. I'd suggest letting the kids know it's over over. Don't let her manipulate them to work on you. You won't have that. Your mom made her choice 8 years ago. You were 10. What did MC say when you told them? The kids know everything and are adamant that I don't even consider taking her back, which I wouldn't. They know how miserable I was and even though she's still their mother and they will likely have a relationship with her, they know what kind of person she is. They don't have much respect for her at all. Why don't you go work it out with your wife? Yes she cheated but gave her another chance if she changed. She hasn't changed and never will. I know that. Oh, okay. If she changed you guys should work it out. She will come back because you guys have kids together and I cannot imagine why she would start doing this after all she invested in your marriage like kids etc. I hope she changed for good before it's too late and you no longer want her back. This is terrible advice. I hope you're trolling. Why? Because he clearly misses his wife. You and I don't know about the love they shared in the past. He clearly still loves his wife so if she was to change he should take her back and things may work out from there. Uh, how did you get the idea that he clearly misses his wife? I don't see it. Either way, I don't think you should be on this forum. It's like you think life is a Disney movie. 8. Years. She stole from him, and you want him to waste yet more time on her? Listen, don't be her doormat. Start telling everyone. Let them know just what type of person she is. Go scorch earth on her ass. Also what do you know about the AP? Is he married? If so tell his wife. How did you find out? He's divorced. Not sure if he was divorced the entire 8 years though. I found out when I found the 6 year anniversary cards they had sent to each other. They were awful for me to read. Still have trouble getting those out of my mind. What the actual duck, how many lies, excuses, holidays, anniversaries, kisses, hugs all fake for 8 years, why couldn't she end it, damn 8 years. I don't have anything to say to you. You are much older and married before I was even born. I can only wish you all the best. Was she even remorseful? What was her explanation for all this? Is she with her AP now? So sorry for you sir. 26 years. She says she's remorseful but I think it's because she got caught. She has since said that she arranged the therapist session to tell me about the affair but chickened out. She thought I would either forgive her or divorce her and she needed the finality. The affair went on so long that in her head, I think she really did normalize it and doesn't think it was that bad. She comes from a family that had lots of infidelity as well. She's pointed to stories of people having long affairs, reconciling and their marriage becoming stronger than before but I can't be that guy. Exactly. She's remorseful because she got caught. Someone doing this for 8 years has zero remorse. She is definitely not all there mentally. Normal people do not behave this way. Is she staying with her AP now or has she cut contacts with him? He apparently has asked her to move in but she says she's decided that he is not what she wants. They are still talking though and I suspect she'll go back. I don't really ask though. Not my concern anymore. I was literally you 4 years ago. 
very similar circumstances. Found out my lovely wife had been having an affair for five years with one of my closest friends, also found out she had been diverting money to a divorce fund later found out that before this affair, she had a quick affair with her boss, found out all this at 59 years old. It was absolutely horrifying, but with the help of my adult kids and a few trusted friends I got past it. I started a completely new life that I love. Wishing you the best. Happily single. Edit, no idea where the in hell came from. Thanks for that. Really happy to hear you're doing well. It's encouraging. Story 2. My mom knew baby wasn't mine but kept her mouth shut. I'm, 26 meters, still so angry about this even though it happened almost over a month ago. My ex-girlfriend, 27F, who I've been with since high school cheated on me. Supposedly she couldn't handle the guilt anymore and told me there's a good chance the 10 month old baby boy I thought was ours might be from some other guy. As it turns out I'm not the father. I'm super pissed off and hurt. And feel like a ducking moron more than anything. We're obviously done. I told her I never wanna see her again, I've moved out of our apartment and living with my friend now. Working on getting me removed from the birth certificate with an attorney so I can officially be done with them. I guess everyone's deciding to confess their sins to me because now my mom is admitting that she knew the baby wasn't mine and she's sorry for not say anything. She knew since my ex was pregnant that the baby might not be mine. My ex called her up crying and confessed to everything when she first found out she was pregnant cause she was scared that I might figure out I'm not the father. Cheating ex is one thing but seriously, my mum? Feel more betrayed that she of all people would hide this from me. The one person you're supposed to trust and whose first instinct is to protect you. I can't believe it. My mom keeps saying she's sorry. She never told me cause she hoped the baby was mine and didn't want me to get hurt. A whole ducking mess, 10 months of taking care of a baby I thought was mine and she thinks this was the better outcome than I do know, getting a ducking paternity test after birth so that I didn't waste all this time. At least my dad and my older brother are pissed off about what she did too. But everybody else won't leave me alone about how I'm being with my mom. They all think I'm punishing her too hard for this and she thought she was helping me at the time. That I need to forgive. But I if I can do that. TBH I don't know what I should do about my mom. She has always been there for me but these feel like something I can't come back from. Any advice? Jesus Christ man. The legal issues she's created for you alone is enough reason to never speak to her again. Your name shouldn't have ever been on that birth certificate. I'm sure you're going through tons of emotions and trying to work out personal things, but you need to put 100% of your energy into getting your name off that certificate, otherwise this can be a long-term problem. I'm sorry. This is totally ducked up. Wish you the best man. Yeah I know now got to deal with this bullshit on top of that spend all this money on my attorney just so I don't end up having to be financially responsible for this. Trust me I am. This isn't a mess I wanna deal with for the next 18 years. Ask her to cover legal expenses. Demand she cover legal expenses. Only after your name is off the birth certificate. The former is way more expensive than the latter and you don't yet know the total legal expenses. Sue her if needs be. I don't think he can sue mom for legal fees. The decent thing to do isn't always legally required. Is this the only time she's deceived you doing what she thought was best or is this a pattern? Does your mother have a pattern of manipulation and gaslighting? It's not easy to cut off your own mom, but if this is what she thinks is appropriate behavior, then maybe you have no other choice. I can't answer that given that this is the only thing that I know of and she seemed to have been pretty good at lying for over a year. Update, my mom knew baby wasn't mine but kept her mouth shut. It's been a long couple weeks NGL but it feels like a lot of time has gone by with everything that's happened. Took some time to get the anger out of me. 
broke some stuff, went on a solo trip to clear my head and feel like it accepted my reality. The support I've gotten here helped so much, it feels good to just be heard you know? Once I was back I had a long conversation with my mom. Everything that I needed to tell her, the fact that she chose to stand behind a cheating liar over her own son no matter what good intentions she thought she had, let her say whatever she needed to say to me. All this talk about wanting me and my girlfriend to be a family, for that baby to have a loving father and not wanting to hurt me. Then I told her I was done with her. Honestly there is nothing she could do to gain back my trust that would ever make me want her back in my life and not look at her in total disgust. I said that I'm sorry but she's dead to me, it's better now she accepts I don't want to see her anymore. Not with how much this has ducked me up. My mom obviously tried to fight me on this but I only said if she wants a child so bad then go ahead and call up my ex. But not gonna let either of them hurt me again. You can imagine some of the shit I've gotten from other family but the second I said I'll cut off from them too it stopped. I've changed my number only my dad and a few other people know. Crazy part is I definitely felt a lot lighter after that conversation with her. Took me a couple days to process and accept it. My dad at least is there for me, he was there to hold me when I broke down from everything. As far as the situation with my ex and refusing to go after the real father. Well that was a total shit show. It took a lot to convince her to do this for me. Asking her if breaking me mentally and emotionally wasn't enough for her, since she was gonna fight having me on the birth certificate when I just wanted to completely be free from them. Finally a couple days ago she told me who it is and she promises she'll cooperate with removing me from the baby's birth certificate. I had suspected the reason she was refusing so much to say who it is was because it was probably someone we knew personally. Not anyone in my family at least and even though that's what I suspected it still ducking hurts. The snakes you never realize you had in your life, it takes a toll on you. So that's another thing I'm trying to process since it's still so fresh. Trying to get through it though and finally heal from everything. At least legally it might not be such a hard battle. Unless she changes her mind which honestly you never know. I'm hoping she doesn't because all I want is to be done with them and not be stuck paying for someone else's kid for 18 years of my life. Sorry this wasn't such a happy update. At least I've learned who the real toxic people in life are and have cut them out. Edit, yes I already have an attorney I'm working with to get my name off the baby's birth certificate. I am so sorry for what your mom put you through. Your ex is one thing. But your mom took away your choices and was willing to saddle you with a lie forever. At least your ex confessed. Good luck with everything and I'm so glad you still have your dad and other family. Yeah my ex here is the ducking worst. But the fact that it was my own mom covering for her lie cuts deep too. I don't want either of them in my life ever again. My dad's been the most supportive. I'm really glad to have him on my side. Don't think I would have made it these last weeks without him. I'd say your mom is the ducking worst, here. Your ex might be self-serving and betrayed her boyfriend, but your mom is self-serving betrayed her own son. Her own flesh and blood was worth betraying for her own selfish wants. Not only that but she could have prevented Op being named on the birth certificate and being liable for child support until it can be removed legally. Not to mention all the legal fees. What a horrible excuse for a mom. A guy recently found out his 21 year old daughter wasn't his. His mom knew his cousin was the father the whole time. He only found out when cousin was on his deathbed and wanted to leave his piddly estate to the daughter. Wow what a ducking asshole. Hope he's burning wherever he is. That's just ducked up to not only do something so disgusting but then dump that whole mess for everybody to deal with knowing he's not gonna stick around for the consequences. Yeah, I read that story too, but it wasn't only his mom who knew but his older sister as well. Don't recall how everything ended, but from what I understand, the mother to this day refuses to accept that she did anything wrong and his sister had a sorry, but it is what it is attitude. Op, I hope everything works out for you and you are able to move forward with your life once you finally put all this behind you. 
Edit, BTW, I don't think you mentioned it op, but is the real father aware of the baby? Last I DM'd him he was back at the house screwing his wife's lights out. All the kids begged him to stay. Well, I think the daughter did too. Since he is her dad. I don't think BS's mom and sister are forgiven. Maybe never. Just like this story but 21 years. Last I heard. His mother got cut off from the whole family for spreading rumors about his wife around their town causing his wife being harassed by strangers and townsfolk. She also starting shit at his daughter's place of employment causing her to get transferred. He is on the mend with his sister because he feels she was manipulated by his mother. She redeemed herself by lying to their mother about the location of his daughter's wedding so she can't cause trouble. So much drama. Also. Sorry for what you're going through op. Stay strong, bro. Wow. That is heartbreaking. This is a good update. Cutting toxic people out of your life is positive. I'm sorry about the revelation and how that hurt you. But you're on the road to healing. Please let us know how you're doing in a few months. But this is a good start. Being on the birth certificate will be an obstacle, even if your ex seems to be agreeable getting you off and omitting child support. Get a lawyer like yesterday, and have them get your ex in writing while she's feeling remorse. Feelings change, and she may turn to anger once it sets in that you're done with her etc or maybe the other guy's some deadbeat, and she'd rather avoid dealing with him and being a single mother, regardless of the reasoning you shouldn't count on her being helpful. Outside of that this was a good update. You've made progress, even if it doesn't feel like it. You've become aware of the toxicity in your life, and you've taken steps to distance yourself and go no contact. Progress can be slow, but it's still better than the alternative. You're nearly done with this chapter of your life, look to the future. Yes in the comments on my other posts I said I've got an attorney who's helping me with all this. I don't trust her to keep her word on this either but I'm just hoping it doesn't get any harder. We hope that by sharing these stories with interested folks like you, we can help people recognize the signs of a relationship in trouble, and avoid so many of these heartbreaking situations yourselves. Have a good day or night. Wherever you are, 